the first of those two parades are going to deck the streets of D.C. out in pink. Our Amy O'Bear caught up with performers for the National Cherry Blossom Parade, and she joins us now live from Northwest Washington with a behind-the-scenes look at the preparations underway there. Hey, Amy. Hey. Preparations have been going on throughout the day today, and so much fun out here. Check this out. About 100 dancers just behind me here perfecting their performance for the finale tomorrow. Crews spent Friday tying loose ends and adding the final touches to the colorful floats planned to hit the streets Saturday morning. Streamers, glitter, and plenty of pink parked and ready to go. Are y'all excited about the parade tomorrow? Yeah. Not far away, preps of a different kind. Left. Left. Two dance teams joining up and hitting the nation's capital to take part in the big parade. We've been practicing four, five, six hours at a time. We just wanted to be perfected, and we want our town, we want to represent our town really well. Many of the dancers from Mississippi and in the D.C. area for the very first time. I feel like I'm kind of special because I'm in D.C., and like none of my friends are in here. Besides long hours of practice, this group is taking in the sights. We have been viewing different music museums and monuments to seeing all the history America has in store for us. One, two, three, go! Whether they're counting steps or counting down, <laughs> Cherry Blossom performers will be ready to go come 10 a.m. No, no, that ain't enough excitement for me. Are y'all excited about the parade tomorrow? Yeah! Now about 100 performers are out here practicing tonight, but for tomorrow's finale, they're going to feature about 900 performers. For now, live in Northwest D.C., Amy O'Bear, ABC 7 News. All right, Amy, watch your back there. Don't want you to get kicked. <laughs> All right, have fun. Now, folks, you've got two chances to watch tomorrow's parade if you choose to stay at home. It's going to air at noon right here on ABC 7, and then it'll air again 2 p.m. on our sister station news channel.